Hello everyone, welcome to the demo today, Tech with Fro. Uh, today's demo, we're going to see what happens when we can combine the world's most popular CRM system, uh, that's Salesforce, along with the power of the world's most uh, capable analytical platform, Snowflake, uh, to empower data teams to uh, get access to data, uh, understand that data, and to drive business outcomes out of that, uh, be it understanding your customers, uh, reducing churn, predicting demand, uh, forecasting sales, and all the nine years that uh, teams today are looking to do uh, when they have access to data. Uh, so both platforms combined is pure gold when we talk about analytics. Uh, as we know, uh, Snowflake is the world's most capable analytical platform uh, born in the cloud and runs natively in the cloud. Um, in the cloud as well, we have Salesforce, which is uh, frankly, the world's most, uh, at least well-known and capable CRM system with tons and tons of data that teams are hungry for and they want to analyze that data uh, into uh, their platform in, and bring that into the analytical platform. And so this union or this marriage or this partnership here uh, where uh, from within uh, Salesforce, we can uh, leverage certain connectors to make data directly available in uh, Snowflake uh, is truly revolutionary. And today's demo is going to look at the options that are available. And we're going to do a demo so you can set this up uh, for yourself. If uh, you have a Salesforce instance, you have Snowflake, you want to make that data available for your teams to get hands on that data in Snowflake, uh, this will cover that for us. So there are going to be two things we'll look at here. Uh, we're going to talk about the connectors that are available. And then we're also going to go into a demonstration, just a really quick demonstration. Not a lot of details, but just to show you where to click, what to look at, so you can quickly access this uh, and make it available in your environment. Now, there might be some licenses that are needed on the Salesforce side and to make those connectors available. So uh, make sure that if you have Salesforce, uh, talk to the account teams or whoever you're working with. Uh, same too with Snowflake to make sure you have all of that. Uh, in place uh, if you cannot uh, follow along with the demo. Now, that said, the very first things that we'll look at here is uh, getting data from Salesforce into your analytical platform, uh, Snowflake, so the teams can analyze. Now, what options are available out there? Uh, there is the very first uh, connector, and you can get all of this from, uh, from uh, Salesforce. These are all the things that are, the connectors are all built and maintained by uh, the Salesforce team, uh, which is uh, the Tableau team, is part of Salesforce. So uh, talk to uh, Salesforce to, to make sure that you have the access to this uh, in your account if you want to get a hold of this. I have a, a trial Salesforce account, which I'm going to be using for this demo. But going back to the connectors here, we have the output connector. And what this connector does is it allows you, right from within your Salesforce, uh, Tableau CRM, we know Tableau CRM used to be called the Einstein Analytics, uh, uh, right from within Tableau CRM, the new name is Tableau CRM. You can build recipes and output the results of those recipes that you build in Tableau CRM uh, directly into Snowflake uh, to join that with the rest of your enterprise data sets that might be in Snowflake to deliver value and to drive uh, business outcomes. So this is a, it's a powerful connector. This is called the Output Connector. Now, the second connector is the sync out connector. And the sync out connector allows you to uh, get data, not just recipes that you've built in Tableau CRM, but get your core data. So we're talking about accounts, uh, leads, opportunities, and all the different objects, even custom objects you have in Salesforce. Uh, you can directly, incrementally uh, sync out, write out this, those uh, uh, records into uh, Snowflake. Uh, to analyze that with all the other enterprise data you have on your Snowflake platform. And the mechanism it uses is it, it goes by the Tableau CRM um, um, uh, uh, pathway. So that's what's going to be available for us. So two things here, just to, to summarize this one. There is the output connector, which is really based on recipes you've built on uh, Einstein Analytics, which is called Tableau CRM. So I should, I should use that the name Tableau CRM, no more Einstein Analytics. So all those recipes you might have built, uh, you can write the result, the output of those results directly into Snowflake. So that's the first path. 
Second path is, well, you might not have recipes you've built. You just want the base objects and those records available in, in Snowflake. You can use the sync out connector. And I'm going to demo here how uh, you can set up both of these and see them in action. Now, the second option that is available as part of this product family is uh, the data from Snowflake going the other way around. So we're, we're trying to analyze data that we already have in Snowflake to drive value and to get business outcomes out of that. So uh, in here, we have the very first option, which is the Tableau connector. So Tableau is a very powerful visualization tool, uh, which, you know, if you say the name is familiar, is because it is, because it's part of the um, that acquisition that uh, Salesforce did. So uh, there's a Tableau uh, product for reporting, uh, and you can use that connector to access live data in Snowflake and to build your dashboards and your visualization. I'm not going to touch a lot about this, but I think for anyone who has Tableau today, uh, you can use that connector and you can uh, query uh, Snowflake to build your visualizations and your dashboards. Now, there is a second piece to it, which is the input connector. Uh, if you want to extract data from Snowflake into Tableau CRM, you're going to be using the input connector in this case. So let's say you have uh, in Salesforce, you've brought data from, well, in Snowflake, you've brought data from your ERP system, you've brought data from your other um, data sources across your organizations, and you want to make that available in Tableau CRM so your sales uh, teams can use that and build other processes uh, within Tableau CRM. You can use this extract, uh, uh, this input connector to extract that data from, from Snowflake and then you're going to write that into Tableau CRM. Now, the last but not least connector is the uh, direct data connector. And what this does is it allows us to live query data that sits in Snowflake, uh, and we can access that data right within Tableau CRM. So this is the direct uh, data connector. So uh, lots of options in here, uh, a very bi-directional approach, whether you're talking about uh, from the Salesforce side, and trying to uh, uh, make that data available in Snowflake so you can join that with the rest of your uh, ecosystem of rich data sets so teams can understand the customer, predict churn, uh, uh, optimize uh, campaigns, and all of that, you can do that and bring that data into Snowflake. And then vice versa, where there's uh, this value data, the rich data sets you have in Snowflake, you want to externalize that, you want to open that up to your analytical platform or to... Uh, recipes that your team might have built. There are lots of connectors that are available. Now, there are links that I'll recommend. I, I might leave some of this in the uh, description below or share this presentation. You can check them uh, out. These are all available on the Tableau or, or the Salesforce website. So uh, definitely check them out to go a little bit deeper into the connectors uh, and how they might fit for you. Now, that said, we're going to dive in into our demo. Uh, and I'm going to show how uh, starting with the connectors that are available in Salesforce side. So we're going to be talking about the top area here for the most part uh, to see how we can access that and what it all looks like from the Salesforce side. So what you're going to need to have is, of course, you're going to need uh, to have a Tableau CRM license. So assuming that you have that, you come into Tableau CRM li uh, environment, uh, if you have the base uh, 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 Salesforce, just navigate to get to uh, Tableau CRM uh, data manager. This is where we need to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and close uh, a couple of this. Now, once we make it here, what you want to do is to click and connect, right? Because in here you can create data flows, you can create recipes. We're not going to deal with that right now. Uh, you can import the uh, data, live data sets that you have from, say, uh, flat files. But what we want to do here is what we want to do a uh, connect. Uh, and once we select connect, you're going to say, let's connect to data. Now, this would give us the ability to connect to the different uh, uh, Snowflake environment that we might have. So in this case, uh, there are two options that you want to connect to. Number one is live connection. So this is from within uh, Tableau CRM where we are. We want to have a live connection to Snowflake so we can read data and do our recipes and build our recipes. All right. So you're going to select live uh, connections. And you have the option here. I already added one. But what you want to do is uh, click on add. Let's just go back and do this slowly. Add connection. 
now you see a snowflake uh, direct connector. Remember where we saw that uh, term? Snowflake direct connector. Where do we see a direct connector? The only one in here that has direct is this. So we're doing a live query from uh, querying Snowflake from Tableau CRM. So that's what we're doing here. All right. So if you click on this, you can put in your connection uh, name that you want, uh, the, the, the name of the developer, schema, auth authentication, role, and warehouses, uh, and your Snowflake account. And this will establish that direct connector down to your Snowflake environment. And I, I do have one already here created. If I was to edit this connection, so you can see we're going to uh, take it through. And that's my connection. That's the scheme I'm going in there, authenticating with my password, username, and the account that I use for my demo. Uh, that's it. So that easy, you can uh, create the connection. And I believe if I create, I did that already, so I'm not going to go ahead and create that. Now, the second one, which is, let's say you don't want to uh, query Snowflake from within Tableau CRM. You want to output results, as we talked about, from your recipes or from the work you do uh, uh, here in, in, um, in Tableau CRM. You want to write that back to Snowflake. Uh, this is where the output connection comes into play. Now, a lot of folks might not see the output, connect the output connection. So I'm going to show how we get access to this output connection. If you don't see this, there's one thing that we need to do. Uh, what we want to do to set up that output connections or another way we call it the sync out connections, uh, which will be this sync out. So you can sync out results uh, into, into Snowflake is we'll go back into your uh, CRM, into your Salesforce account. And what you want to do, let's just uh, go back to home. So what you want to do is come in here, uh, search for analytics uh, on any way that you, you uh, have that. So just search for analytics um, and then look for settings. Okay. You want to make sure we look for settings. So just click on settings and then we're going to scroll down here to uh, enable a couple of settings. So the one that we need is the setting. So we want to enable, make sure this is checked. Uh, if I uncheck this, so let's just do this as a try. If I uncheck this, enables uh, Snowflake output connection and you can read the description here what this, it does. This enables uh, uh, sync out. So we're talking about sync out, this, this piece here. So that enables sync out. So if I uncheck that and I go ahead and I save this, uh, watch what happens. So if we go ahead, save that. If I go back into my accounts and I do a refresh of this, just to make sure we've refreshed everything, click on connect back, connect to data. Guess what? It doesn't show up here. All right, there were four things that we saw here. Now we see only three, okay? Uh, we don't see the output connector here. So it's really important that um, if you don't see that, and this might happen for a lot of people for the first time, just come in here, uh, enable, uh, let's just click on this slowly, enable uh, Snowflake output connection and save that. So you, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and save that. Now, if you save that and we come back uh, here, for some reason, I just have to refresh this uh, to make sure that there is nothing. Uh, this page refreshes. Uh, we go to connect, uh, connect to data. Now we've got our four things back here, right? The output connections is what we want. And if we click on the output uh, uh, connections, now we can add, and now we have the Snowflake output connector. Well, where did we see Snowflake output connector? If we go back into our chart here, Guess what? We have the sync out connector and then we have the output connector. So this allows you to do both. Okay. So if you're trying to get data into Snowflake, there are really those two options and you can use any of that. So let's go back into this and you can create this. Uh, you're going to put in your credentials in here, connection name, your account, uh, your, your Snowflake account, all the authentication that you need. And you're going to save that and that will give you, well, I can save an empty uh, screen and that will give you your output connector. Now, once you have your output connector, you can go ahead and you can select the data sets that you want. So any of these data sets that you want uh, in here, uh, you can select those for incremental sync out into Snowflake. So if I want my contacts to show up in, in a Snowflake table, I can go ahead and I can select that, those contacts, and it will show up on my Snowflake uh, table. All right, if you want your opportunities 
uh, to show up, you can go ahead, select the opportunities and make sure that they can go ahead and, and you can sing them out. I'm not going to do this uh, in, in the demo here, uh, but that's definitely something that you can do uh, once you have those connectors uh, set up. Uh, really, really easy to do. All right. So let's just go back here and, and bring this home. Um, Snowflake uh, and Salesforce combined give us uh, a really uh, powerful uh, set of capabilities to uh, get access to the rich data and ecosystem that exists within Salesforce, uh, bringing that in cases where that's what you're trying to do into your uh, highly capable analytical platform like Snowflake uh, so the teams can analyze uh, using SQL, understanding the data, uh, understanding your customers at the end of the day. Uh, and vice versa, you have all this value-added data you've uh, built in Snowflake. You want to expose that with reports and with dashboards, uh, the Snowflake Tableau CRM connector uh, and the whole series of connectors here can allow you to do that in a very easy fashion. Now, before we uh, wrap up for the demo today, the one question will come up is, well, can I accomplish this um, with uh, an ETL tool? And the answer to that is, Yes, a lot of people today, before these connectors, would do this with ETL tools. Lots of ETL tools out there. I spent many, many years in that in that uh, space, understand a lot of them. Uh, but if you think about it, an ETL tool is a man in the middle. You're getting a tool that can connect from one end and move the data and put it in the next end. Well, what this is doing and these capabilities you see here on the screen is saying, hey, Let's just go directly and get the two parties to talk. So Snowflake, Salesforce, they can write to each other. They all live in the cloud. They're all SaaS applications. They can just talk to each other using these connectors. And if you can make your Salesforce data directly available in Snowflake, now where, where does the ETL tool fall in play? You know, it's pretty self-evident to say, well, we don't need an ETL tool in this space, right? Because that data is in Snowflake. Now you can write SQL to to massage that data, to analyze that data, and to get the value out of it. So just thought I would throw that out there for, for folks that maybe have questions around, well, where does the ETL tool uh, fall into play? Now, if you have workflows where an ETL tool is used to connect to Salesforce and get it into Snowflake, all fine and good to you, right? If that if it works, then that's the situation you have. But there are folks that on, honestly want uh, a quicker, the one in the world of high acceleration and people thirsty and hungry for data, in a very low latency fashion, uh, this could be a very appealing option uh, for uh, for the teams to look at to quickly sync the different data sets and the different uh, assets from uh, the uh, CRM system into the highly capable analytical platform. That is Snowflake to drive uh, value and to understand the customers better. So uh, there you have it. Uh, this is uh, Fro Tech with Fro. Hopefully this was helpful. As always, if you have any questions, uh, with uh, the demos we do on this channel. Don't hesitate to uh, uh, jump into the comment section below. Let me know, suggest topics. Uh, is there something you want to hear about? Does this provide value to you? If so, uh, feel free to share this with anybody that could get value out of it. Again, thanks for watching. As always, you've been very awesome. I have been through, and I will see you in the next demo.